Hi guys. I've escaped the computer. I've been stuck in front of the computer for days and I just need to get out and take some photographs. So I'm bringing you here to Sunny Worthing. It's lovely, beautiful day out here. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna go walking along the beach. I've got about an hour, that's it, maximum. Hardly any time at all, but it's gonna be good because it's low tide, look. I've got the, uh, what have I got? Nikon D3, the D800 needs charging up and I didn't have time to do it. So I grabbed the trusty Nikon D3, beautiful camera. Nifty 50, 1.4 all the way around. And we're gonna go and take some photographs. It is definitely, definitely picture taking time. <laughs> I where my day's going all the time. Look at this seagull looking at it. Seagulls everywhere. So we're gonna walk down, go down to the front. Let's go and do some pictures. I need to take some pictures today. taking time so contrasted light down here today but it's been a lot of processing since my road trip and I'm itching to get out and take some photographs I've got literally half an hour let's just press the old button literally half an hour before I've got to go back and be stuck in front of the computer and it's so nice out here today not gonna happen let's go Like, it's probably the worst time of day to be taking photographs today. It's like, it's so bright. There's not a cloud in the sky, can't believe it. Oh, what the heck. You just gotta go. You never know what you're gonna find. Since I started using Periscope, I tell you what, you just don't know what you're gonna find. And you just get out there, grab a camera, and just go and explore. You get talking to people, and then that's it. Something happens. But yeah, it's a bit, um, it's a bit bright. <laughs> So we're gonna be very contrasty photographs today. But the view's quite nice. There's lots of people down here. I don't know what's happening over there. I don't know if it's like a school trip. So this is nice, here we go. What we got? Lone seagull. Just like that pattern, actually. Just there, just that lovely big pattern. There's a lone person walking the dog, let's see if we can do something with them. I guess that skyline might be quite nice. Two dogs actually. It's definitely this person walking two dogs down here is nice. Work with the light. Seagulls taking off there is quite nice, but this person here is nice. Just there, that lone person on that beach. Isolate them off a little bit. Like that. Keep looking. So when the tide is lower, further out you can actually walk all the way around sometimes because the tides change all, all throughout the year the tides change so you can actually walk all the way out under the end of the pier here and late last year I got some lovely photographs around there you go right underneath it as well but we can go underneath this bit and it's gonna look nice just finding our shots at the moment let me show you this guys it's quite interesting you get a lot of chalk all the way along the South Downs here. The South Downs is to our left, yeah, which is a hilly area that runs all the way down, kind of West Sussex and East Sussex. Um, so you've all heard of the White Cliffs of Dover, yeah? So you get, which is kind of that away, a couple of hours drive away. So you get a lot of chalk around here. And on the beach, you just get these big bits of chalk, like that. Just natural chalk. And as a kid, when you come down, you just go grabbing them and uh, find the nearest breakwater, which are those things over there that run out. 
and you just draw uh, draw a funny picture and when you get a bit older probably something rude you'd write on there <laughs> but look the beach is littered of it loads of it anyone need some chalk do a good deal natural from the coast of Sussex <laughs> Found my picture, guys. It's there. There's my picture. The Dome Theatre. Just through the uh, the pillars underneath the uh, the pier here. Just trying to work out whether this water's the sea level's going to get any higher because I am running out of welly space. <laughs> it could get a bit wet. Just in there, nicely framed. Pigeons above my head. There's loads of them out here, right up there. Cooing away. Looks nice through here as well. The light's not perfect, but it's kind of nice. I like it. Thinking black and white through there. High contrast. Give it a couple Very moody. Look nice on the wide actually. Go really ultra wide on that. That's quite nice. Love these pillars as well. All the crustaceans and barnacles and everything that are on them. Be better with the light on them. Let's go over the other side. See how it's suddenly come alive now. Even got a bit of old look. A bit of old fishing wire, fisherman's wire. Um, line there caught up in it. Looks nice. Like that. So I'm thinking of a wide down, low down shot. Skim it right along there. Oh dear me, what, do I, what am I doing? I swear people watch me thinking I'm crazy. And I'm taking my pictures. Looks nice though. So the pier is about I think it's coming up to about 100 years old, this pier. I'm not gonna have time to go up on the top of it today because there's too many interesting photographs down here. But I like this against the blue sky. You see the lights up there? Definitely do something with that. In an ideal world, we would just have somebody looking over the top there. But it's still nice as well, just clean. There is somebody walking around up there. Look at that, look at the texture on this. Just go around. It's worth a photograph. Got to watch your aperture on these kind of shots. You want a nice bit of depth of field on them, really. Because you don't want that pin sharp there and the rest too blurred. So you want to keep a little bit in there. What am I? Five, six. Kind of works. Just moving, changing angles. It's nice there with the rope as well. See the rope? In light like this, you've got to watch the highlights don't just totally 
disappear and blow out all the way. So forever checking aperture priority all the way, just checking your um, exposure, just drop it down. It's always sometimes you just shoot everything at about minus 0.3 on your exposure, just to allow. I'd rather have too much information and meaty negs as they used to say. Gives you something to work with. Hate blown out highlights, not good. This structure is amazing though, look at it. Good tips for taking photographs, always take a lens cloth with you. Or if you're really stuck, when you've bought your coffee, because you always need good coffee to take good pictures, uh, a napkin normally works quite well. <laughs> Love the way that light. Do you see it here? The light is just streaming through here. And there's some there's something there. Sometimes you just got to look and you can see something. It sounds really odd. You, you know that there's a picture. There's another picture there with that beam of light. There's something, we've got to work on it, try and get the best out of it. I've got about 10 minutes to do this in. Looking, looking, looking. I think it's there. I like the way that a wave rolls in. You see how the wave is just coming in there? So I'm thinking lens wide open, very, very small depth of field, pin sharp on one of those waves coming in with that light hitting it. Could work quite nicely. nice my alarm's going off oh man that's the that's time to go I got it oh. I'm just gonna have to be late sorry guys this is too nice to skip come on come on come on come on come on oh man it's annoying me now Look at this down here, I could spend all day down here, honestly. It's gonna really annoy me if I don't get this shot before I go. I've got one, but it's not the one. It's a nice shot, but it's not what I was after. It's not what I've seen. Right, and now I so if I get my trousers wet, that must mean that I'm going to get a good photograph. Looks nice. Do you see? Back of the camera. There. That's the shot. We just want that break in that wave a little bit more. Oh, my socks are wet. Just go down a little bit. Creature. Suddenly a monster comes out of the shell and eats the intrepid photographer. Did you get a photograph? Oh, really gotta go. 
Too close, too close, man, too close. Right, this is not gonna work. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, I gotta go. Trigger happy today. If in doubt, take lots of photographs and make it black and white. Oh, it's really annoying me because there's a... Uh, it's, re it's really annoying me because there's a photograph there and I've got to go. So we're going to have to come back and do this because the light's just perfect. The wave is not breaking enough. I just want that curl of that wave just down there. I'm just chasing the sea. We might have something though. I think we got something. Just not 100% happy. Just kind of 88.8% .8 happy. That's it, I gotta go. looks a bit deeper than when I first arrived. <laughs> I've just realised I think the tide's coming in because that looks a lot deeper than when I first arrived. Last time this happened last year I was busy taking photographs, I was scoping at the time and then I had to take my shoes and socks off to get back across to the sand. I've not got time for this, look. This could be interesting because if that tide's coming in... Oh, oh well, I've got wet socks already. Made it. I didn't get stranded. So embarrassing when it happened last year. My girlfriend was up on the pier <laughs> and she was like watching me scope. I got so distracted. The water, the tide was coming in. I ended up perched out here underneath here. And then the tide had come in, shoots and socks off. I'm going, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, doing the beach walk. You know when you do that, you go, ah, ah, ah. Beach walk across all the stones because it blooming hurts your toes. And everybody, everybody's, everybody's on the beach watching me. And what is that guy doing? Not only is he just talking to his iPhone and having a conversation with somebody, like I'm doing right now, but I've got the GoPro. Um, he's now stranded and he's, he's taking his shoes and socks off. <laughs> has, he ever, has he ever been to the seaside before? Yeah, just a few times in the last 40 years that I've lived down here. <laughs> so many pictures down here. Honestly, I could spend all day down here. Look, watch. Oh, I've go. So late. Gonna be big trouble. Just one more picture before I go. Oh. I am honestly walking back to the car. I fly, fly little birdies. Ah, oh, they're grumpy ones. Go, 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 go. I'm definitely, definitely going. Definitely. Even though, it's quite a nice picture here. I gotta go. Till next time. <laughs> See you later, guys. Enter the lift of doom. 
10, come on. Lift, lift, lift. Lift. 10, 10, 10, 10, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Slowest lift in the world. Okay, okay. Look at these two here. Dave and Marge, regular seagulls in Worthing. Dave's the larger one, Marge is the one with one leg. She lost it in a sailing accident. She doesn't say a lot. See you later, Marge.